sensitive do you have to be? I mean, you know, what, what can you tell us the story? I mean, was it, was it a, in what, in what context was the, the word you oh, Gosh, oh, try and be brief. Um, uh, one of the characters, it was a prison riot, 1976, Hall Prison Riot. It was for Hall Truck, a commission for them. Uh, I uh, had one of the characters, I uh, made him a Muslim, because at that time in the prison system, if you said your religion allowed you to grow your hair, or meant that you had to grow your hair, you, you could keep long hair, and he was just a bit of a rocker. So, you know, he wasn't a Muslim, he just, you know, wanted long hair and like rock and roll, and he said, yeah, I'm a Muslim, I've got to cut my hair, so... So they gave him a Quran as well. So and you know, and he started reading it because he got nothing else to read in Hall Prison really much. You know. So um, and and just the uh, other themes came up because one of the characters was Jesus Christ. Uh, you can do that as a playwright. You know, you can have Jesus Christ in your play uh, in Hall Prison. Uh, and so there was a little bit of debate going on about the role model stuff: Jesus Christ versus Muhammad. Muhammad being, you know, uh, a warrior, and Jesus Christ being uh, a pacifist, if you like. So there was that kind of debate going on. We had the reading in Hall Truck, and it was, we had, because uh, there was a young girl in the play, and she had to be chaperoned, so that the six male actors didn't rape her in the theatre. What do you mean, sort of, actually the actor? Well, that's just, you know, they just, you know, she was 16, so she had to have a grown woman with her to chaperone her, because she couldn't be allowed in a room with actors. You know? <laughs> I think that's, you know, I think that's a good rule. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, she said at the end of the reading, I'm a bit worried about uh, the um, sens you know, sensitivities of our, our Muslim uh, audience, uh, which is, of course, zero here in Hull. You know. But then, it's just the fuss just went nuts when the Danish cartoon thing. I changed the script. You know, I just happily changed the script. Oh, all right, I'll peg it back a bit. You know. So I changed it a bit. And then the Danish cartoon thing just went... Oh, like that, and then they just wanted every mention of Mohammed taken out, and the actors were shaking when they were saying Mohammed in the rehearsal room. Mm -hmm. It just went nuts, you know. It was absolutely crazy. Um, so that was that was the context mm -hmm. of that. Yeah, but that was that <coughs> was particular. I mean, that was at that time in those two weeks, which was, and it's all truck, which is a bit esoteric, I must say. Uh, you wouldn't get that, you know, anywhere else. So We've got a, a play which is going to rehearsal later this year, a new play by Joe Pennell, who wrote Blue, Blue Orange. And that has quite harsh criticisms of Islam in it. Incidentally, it's not the play's bad, right. but one of the characters speaks very harshly indeed about the Islamic attitude to women. Right. And uh, there's been no question censoring that or touching it at all. No question at all. So and part of the answer to your question is that theatre takes longer than a lot of other forms of writing to address things. Mm -hmm. It does take a long time. So I, I've read a number of scripts recently which have remarks in them on this matter, mm. and I think it, that will increasingly happen. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a problem at all. And I, I, I just want to say that later on this year, the Royal Court are going to do Max Frisch's uh, The Fire Raisers. I don't know if anybody knows that play, uh, but it was written during Nazism, uh, or about Nazism, uh, where a middle-class German couple... Uh, what's happening in Germany is p there are weird people going around setting fire to everything. And uh, this German couple, middle class, take into their home these two homeless young men. Uh, and they put them up and feed them and care for them. Kind of refugee type situation, yeah. Uh, and all the time they're talking about the fire raisers because this is the hot news. And they don't see that these two guys are the fire raisers. Do you know what I mean? And they're upstairs in the attic in the play making incendiary bombs. And the middle class are downstairs cooking up dinner for them. Do you know what I mean? That's essentially the play. And Dominic Cook, who's just taken over at the Royal Court, absolutely wants to do this play, and I think it's scheduled for September. And the, the, the metaphor is completely obvious. Mm. You know, it's completely obvious. Uh, and, and in some ways, if, if you're looking for theatre to critique radical Islam and do a kind of uh, Melanie Phillips type thing on British middle class, liberal middle class, uh, then that's the perfect play in a way. Right. But you see, a lot of people will go to that play and they just won't get the metaphor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, the one, one metaphor, uh, after this work, I think we'll have some uh, audience uh, questions, but one thing that is, uh, you could not get the metaphor is that uh, Ramin Gray told me of the Royal Court that at one point there were some writers getting together thinking of doing something along the life of Brian yeah. called The yeah. Life of Iqbal. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was. And they came to the conclusion. <coughs> that, oh, really? That was you. Yeah. They came to the conclusion that in fact you'd either <coughs> have to uh, into, under pseudonyms or basically because you'd have that was put down. I mean, is that something which is unnecessarily provocative or? Well, uh, it, um, uh, you think so? I you said yeah. I don't, I don't know. The, the Do you know about mine is a strata? I've told you about it. You did tell me that. So you, <laughs> think, great, you think that's unnecessary? Yeah, that was great. No, yeah. I don't. But I mean, I kind of, I, I think being, I'm not, this isn't directly. Shall we share? Directive, but no, we're sharing. I don't think writing just to provoke or writing just to be sensational. I'm not saying that's what Richard does. He's a brilliant writer. Um, I, it's not good enough. I think as writers we have to be responsible. I feel responsible. I'm not saying that makes me careful and scared. But I think there's a way of saying things in other things, things. I would rather write something that attracts a huge and wide variety of people. You know, I'm looking around this room and I'm seeing, I don't think I'm seeing anybody in this room who isn't white. Mm -hmm. And that constantly, and I'm not saying that's anyone's fault, but I, I go to meetings and I go to events and I, it kind of makes me go, why? Um, why aren't people here? So I feel responsible, but I, I think writing, and Renette and I talked about this briefly a couple of weeks ago, writing just for sensation, say, writing the life of Iqbal just makes me go, why? Why also, I noticed that you, uh, in, in everything you've said, you, you, I'm not saying that this is wrong, but I note that you, you never make the conventional distinction which everybody always is careful to make between Islam itself and extremist mm. uh, Islam. So, I mean, if it is your position that Islam in mm. itself is a dangerous thing, then that's interesting mm. and noteworthy. And that's the kind of thing you simply would not see easily put on the stage. Uh, I mean, you might, you might read it in the, in the Sun or something. <laughs> you know, it's really not sayable. The orthodoxy won't have it. And also, not to establish the fact is apparently that the the police, uh, if you if you if you call up and say, look, we're putting on a play called The Life of Big Ball, um, they're not going to, you know, put a daisy chain around your theatre every night. Well, exactly, they'll rat out, won't they? They'll, yeah. they'll, but they'll, Jerry they'll, Springer they'll, had, you know, Christians are up in arms about Jerry Springer. I mean, it's not just my, my problem. Is it's not it's as Chris is saying, it's not Islam. There are huge amount of Muslims who are not fundamentalists, who just want to get on with their lives, whose voices are not being heard at all. I think they're not being heard anywhere. It's fundamentalist. It's Christian fundamentalism in America as well, the, the far right in Israel, I mean the Orthodox in Israel. What, 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 what we're talking about is the freedom and, and the opportunity to write about something that's offensive, if that's what takes your fancy as a, as a yeah, playwright. I, I think so. And, uh, you know, I, it doesn't matter whether it's Islam or Christianity or anything else. I think you can work for the freedom. Supported I by the police that. to express whatever mm -hmm. it may be within the law. Obviously, incitement of violence is not exactly. I don't. I don't. I mean, I, I. I am for freedom of speech. I would rather hear what everybody has to say. But I think there's a way of something and a way of saying things and a way of writing things. And there's an offensive way which should be defended in, in the arts. I believe. Yes. I think if you if uh, I think Chris's point about if you take on Islam, it's such a broad. I use the word church, it's such a broad mosque, <laughs> isn't it? You know, um, but I think if you pin it down to, right, let's have a crack at Wahhabi Sunni Islam with this play, mm. they still wouldn't put it on. You know, still, you, you know you're having a crack at uh, you know, people who hate us, uh, who want to kill us, who want to kill our gay people, who want to do, you know, want our women to uh, wear the new cab. You, you know, you can't have a crack at that. You know, and if you get to a point in a society where people who have actually tried to kill you, you know, I was half an hour off the Piccadilly line bomb, you know, I was on the way to the Royal Court, you know. But they weren't, that wasn't, they weren't going, we're going to get Richard B. Of course they were. Of course they were. Yes, it is. But it's not all of Islam, it's not, you know. No, that's my point, that's my point. That's yeah, my but point. Uh, if you were identified yeah. the play as this play is not having a crack at the whole of Islam, this play is having a crack at the right right wing end, the nutty end. And if you think if you wrote, if you were to write a play like that, you, you say they wouldn't put it on. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't put, who would put that on? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You I'm don't just interested to hear you say that that they wouldn't put it on, and they wouldn't put it on because of that, and for no other reason. Well, they wouldn't put it on because they just.